Hello and welcome to Love Where You Live, a production of the Sheboygan County Chamber of Commerce. I'm Betsy Alice and I am the host of the show and the executive director of the chamber. This morning we are welcoming Chuck Miesfeld from Miesfeld's Meat Market and a whole lot more. Um, Chuck is also the driving force behind Lakeshore Weekend, which is coming right up at the end of July, last weekend in July. So we're happy to have Chuck on the, on the show today to talk a little bit about Miesfeld's and about Lakeshore Weekend. Great to be here. Yeah. Thank you. Tell, you know, before we get into the weekend, I do, you know, I understand that, that Miesfeld's is celebrating 75 years in business. Yeah, we started in 1941 and we just had our 75th anniversary. So we, wow. we had quite a celebration with a nice meat sale and a lot of people came out and celebrated with us. Congratulations on that 75th. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about the history because I'm curious and I'm sure our viewers are, you know, how it started and how, how it grew. My grandfather started in 1941. Um, he worked for Oscar Meyer for a couple of years and then he moved to Sheboygan and said, you know, why work for someone else? I might as well start my own business. So then my father got involved with it um, and he worked it for about 20 years when my grandpa retired. And then uh, my father passed away early in life uh, in 91. I was 32 years old and so I was third generation, so I took it over. And uh, then we decided to go bigger because our business was doing good. So we built our facility that we're in now 16 years ago. So. We went from uh, 1,700 square feet to 28,000, so we really took off. So. Wow, a lot of responsibility for a 32-year-old. Yeah, it was. It was a little yeah. scary, but I had a, I had a good friend that uh, was also in business that helped me, and uh, thank God for him. Still there? Still yeah, he's still with there. You? He still oh, comes in a couple times a week, and we still hang out. So. And you were sharing with me a little bit before the show how many employees you have. and. Yeah, we have about 38 employees now. Uh, and a most, lot of longevity. Yeah, we just... Uh, we had one guy, Ken Zastro, just retired two years ago, and he was with us 57 years. So oh my gosh, it's unbelievable! That's, yeah. That is unbelievable. Yeah. He actually started when I was born, so <laughs> it's wow. kind of weird. So a lot of people, my manager's been there 32 years, sausage maker 30 years. So yeah, we've got some great people. And it seems that every year you come out with some new varieties. Got to keep plugging away all the time. Mm -hmm. So our our R&D uh, department does a good job. What's your latest? Um, we always try to work on, on different brats, um, uh, horseradish cheddar, uh, chipotle cheddar is our two newest ones. So, um, Sounds delicious. And we just came me. out with a cheddar cheese ring bologna. So. Hey, fun. I think product development is one of the most fun parts of being an entrepreneur. It's fun to do it, but it's hard to keep the yeah, weight off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you look great. So, so Lakeshore Weekend, just to, to move to that subject now. Uh, what an amazing event that is. I think when I first moved to this area, I was completely astounded by how large this event was, how many people it attracts, and all of the excitement that is on the river and the lakefront um, in downtown Sheboygan when it happens. Yeah, it's a great, great place to have it. Sheboygan's been, uh, the river for the lakefront down by South Pier has been great. Uh, all the vendors down there have been, been uh, supportive and We've got a lot of people that come down and love that area. You know, uh, the, the Blue Harbor is booked up almost a year in advance for people that are coming back to come to the, to the Lakeshore Weekend. So we're very lucky that way. Uh, yeah. We started in Kiwanis, at Kiwanis Park um, our first year. This is our eighth year. Okay. And actually the first year we did it, you know, to, to get it going, it took a little while. And we were like, oh, boy, this, this, we don't know if this is going to work because it wasn't real good to start. But yeah. we sure built it up uh, after a couple of years. So. It's working good. Yeah, I'd say one of the highlights, the, the dragon boat races and those kinds of things are really, they just add so much color and excitement. Yeah, it's something different, you know. Yeah, it's, it's great. Uh, this year, it's the last weekend in July on South Pier. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of talk about the lineup this year and the kind of music you're going to be having. Can you tell us a little about the groups that that we can expect to see there this year? Yeah, our music venue this year is awesome. We have Friday night, we start out with El Dorados, which is a local band, and they play 70s, 80s, uh, all the hits. So that draws a big crowd of, of the elderly. I should well, I should say that, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> the 50, 60 year olds. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, the baby boomers. Yeah, right. Yeah. And then after that, we have um, Bacchus Lotus, which is another local band that, uh, and we're lucky to get the originals. Um, they all come from wherever they are. and, and uh, so that's always a big draw. Saturday night um, we have um, the Bruce City Horns from out of Milwaukee, and they're oh, cold fine. sweating the Bruce City Horns, and they're they're also a big draw. They have horns and they play a lot of Chicago and stuff like that. So hmm. so that's big. And then this year we have Sunblind Lion, 
uh, on Sunday, and we have the original Sunblind Lion. They're flying a guy in from uh, California, and uh, that's a popular band in this area. They have four albums, uh, Keith Obler and, and his gang there, and that's going to be a big draw for us, huge. Wow, that sounds... And we were lucky to get them. Definitely sounds like it'll draw me. So. Yeah, it's going to be I, fun. Gee, I happen to be a baby boomer. I'm, <laughs> but it sounds to me, though, you have a good variety. Yeah, we do. Well, we do. And then there's bands in between, uh, Our House, Enigma, that play all different kinds of things. So those are just the, the big ones. So. Excellent. And then what about the little kids? The kids actually, um, our kids' tent is our biggest tent. And there's about 35 games uh, in there. Uh, all different kinds. Um, Lori Steiner heads that up and she just does an unbelievable job. Um, she makes all the games and, and uh, plans them all um, and that's very well run. It takes a lot of people to to work that tent. Uh, we have four-hour shifts and it takes about 35-40 people per shift. So you know we're looking for 550 volunteers so it's... Uh, and it's, where it's are you now? Event. I think we're right around 470, so we're getting there. So we, we could use some more. So, so you heard that. If, yeah. if you have an interest in volunteering for Lakeshore And it's weekend. fun. It's fun. You get yeah. a t-shirt, you get a sandwich and a, and a drink, and you get to help kids. Uh, so it's, it's a fun event. So. And it's probably done in shifts, so right. it's not it's overwhelming. Shifts. No, uh -huh. right, right, right. Well, that's great. What a nice opportunity. I just, I was amazed to hear how many volunteers. Yeah, it, it, it takes. takes a lot. And, you know, we start 10 months ago to start planning this already. So it takes a lot of work. We've got a, wow. we've got a board, uh, board of directors and a, and a group of people of about a dozen. And uh, they just, they work very, very hard. I mean, it's, we've got some really good people that put a lot of time and effort into this. Yeah, that's great. So. That's really good for the community. Well, tell us about how you got involved initially. What, what drew you to this? Well, it's, it, it's kind of weird, not weird, but it's kind of coincidental that uh, uh, Don Sweeten approached me, Don and Donna, and their, his brother died in a motorcycle accident. And I, I graduated with him, and he was a younger fellow at the time. Uh, and they found out that he used to go down to Children's Hospital and read to the kids which no one really knew that. He'd do it mm -hmm. on his own like three days a week, you know. And, uh, and then at that same time, when they approached me, my nephew had been diagnosed with leukemia. So he was involved yeah. at Children's Hospital yeah. and, and going down there, and my, my wife would stay down there with him. And, and so the combination of the two just made sense to me to, to jump on board and be the main sponsor. Uh, so that's how it got started. Wow. And I just remember they were saying, you know, we want to do something for the kids and for Children's Hospital. So we started with a brat fry at our store, okay. and that was on a Saturday, and I think we raised like 1500 bucks in four or five hours, which was good. Yeah, But they came up to me good. and said, well, we're thinking of something a little different. Well, then this thing started, and the tents came, and, you know, I had no idea that they were going this big, but uh, it turned out really good. Um, you know, we've, we've really grown. And so do you have a lot of support, too, from Children's Hospital? We do. We have a lot of support from them. The doctors, um, Heidi Schott is, is the representative who, who helps us out with bringing families in and things like that. Um, hmm. And we also have a lot of support from local businesses. I mean, we have some businesses that have really stepped up and, and donated and want to be involved. And, you know, the thing with, with this event is it's, it's, a, it's an adult event, but it's a children's event, too. It's, it's geared for yeah. children. It's not... You know, we'll never want to turn it into anything other than having the kids, you know, be the ones that are that are having mm -hmm. the fun. So we try to keep it low key. We don't want any uh, rowdy bands, no metal bands mm -hmm. or anything. We we try to keep it family orientated, and we've been able to do that for eight years, which is amazing with the amount of people we get. So how many people come? Oh, we think we run close to 10,000 through in two and a half days. So, Very nice. So yeah. it starts on Friday afternoon. Yep, Friday at five o'clock and ends okay. Sunday at five. Okay. And that's not including the Dragon Bowl. When we have Dragon Bowl races on Sunday, the, the whole riverfront is just lined up. Yeah, uh, so you haven't even counted those. No, and that's thousands of people. You have to use a drone camera. And, yeah, yeah you know. we, we do that. Do we you? Do that. Yeah, oh, yeah, wonderful. Yeah. Well, there is a website, too, and you know where people can go to see the exact schedule, and that is called... LakeshoreWeekendSheboygan.com. Okay. You can also sign up if you want to volunteer there. Oh, awesome. Yeah. And are there pictures from, yeah, yeah, from the past it, events? It goes through our whole event. It starts Friday night. We have an awesome fireworks show. I mean, a nice. really big fireworks show. This year is going to be bigger than ever. Uh, wow. So we're, we're looking forward to that to start it off. And we're also having a ski show on Saturday, which is something brand new. Uh, from 1 to 3, we're going to have water skiers, professional water skiers in the river. So, wow, so with jumps thing. and things like yeah, that, formations? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Wow, that is so, exciting. So we're excited. So that's the new part of this yep, year. Yep. Wow, that is, that's great. So 
how do people go about signing up for the Dragon Boat races? How Dragon Boat races, um, they can contact Donna Sweeten or on the website again. Okay. Um, you have to have um, uh, 21 people because there's 18 paddlers, there's a, a sternsman, a flag catcher, and a um, drummer. So we have a lot okay. of companies. Right now we're at 16 teams, I think, which is, which is awesome. Nice. It's only $400. Uh, okay. Again, all that goes to Children's Hospital. And it's a good um, company building event because you, mm -hmm. you sit next to someone maybe you don't like so much at work, but your common goal is to, <laughs> is to roll that boat and, and you know, beat the person next to you. Yeah. So it's a, lot of, it's a lot of fun. But there is some competition because it's, oh, it's, absolutely. Oh, it's really grown because now all these companies <laughs> and teams, they have shirts made up. You know, ours is roll, roll, roll your brat. <laughs> so, oh, that's great. So, and then they bring tents down and they bring uh, beverages and it, they make a real party out of it. And it, it's, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. And what's the deadline for signing up a team? Um, it'll be closed, I think, right around the 18th of July yet. We okay. probably can get someone in yet. So. Got to be able to so, make t-shirts in time to, yeah, yeah. to go to the <laughs> event. So yeah. you want to make sure you've got that. So we have some good, that. good competition going on there. Wow, that's great. That sounds like a lot of fun. It is fun. I haven't done that yet. Oh, so, it's, yeah. it's fun. You gotta, it's, it's a workout. We though. need a chamber team. There you go. Hey, yeah. there you go. I'll have to check that out. We did start our new wellness program, so yeah. that could be part of it. Yeah, I like that. Um, so the recent housing developments slated for South Pier, you know, may have an impact on, on where you can hold it. Maybe you even need to be somewhere bigger at, as things get bigger and better every single year. Yeah. That's what, do you, what do you see there? Well, you know, there again, we, we have such a, a, a good board of directors involved in our, in our core that we started looking into that already for next year. Um, I think this is going to happen down there, which is great. Don't get me wrong. It's, development is great. Mm -hmm. um, we're looking a little bit south of that area. Um, there's some land there. I believe Blue, Blue Harbor owns, and we've been in contact with them, and we're trying to work with their corporate, seeing if we could rent it or use their land if they donate it to us. And that's actually a bigger section for us, so okay. uh, more parking, and it would work out great for us. Uh, so that's what we're hoping for. Very nice. Because we're kind of limited where we can go, uh, being that big, and yeah. we'd, we'd like to have somewhere with water for the Dragon Boats. So. Yeah, ten. I mean, ten thousand people is a lot of yeah, people. Yeah, it is. It is. At least they're going through, you know, hours at a time, so right, you have a little right. bit of a flow all weekend. Another thing I just want to mention is, um, um, we we did another different thing this year. Um, our tent, uh, our kids' tent on Saturday normally opens at eleven, and we're doing on from nine to eleven. We're opening it up for all handicapped kids, so anybody Excellent. that has a wheelchair accessible or handicapped uh, children that that don't want to fight the crowds in there can come from 9 to 11 and uh, play the games. So this is on Saturday? This is Saturday, yeah. 9 in the morning till 11? Yep, okay. Yep. Wow, that's so, wonderful. Yeah, it is. I mean, and all the games will be um, uh, handicap accessible at that time, so. Boy, that's a newsworthy so, kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, it is. I like it is. That. It is. It's, it's great. Yeah. And they, everybody wins a prize, so. Yeah. You know, I, I know a lot of people who have used Children's Hospital. Oh, it's, it's, that's the amazing thing. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you talk to someone and you think about it, if your family hasn't been touched with it, you must know someone that does. Yeah. Because anybody that has anything serious with a child goes down there. Right. And then they're just, they're wonderful down there. They're and really, they go there multiple times they sometimes. Do. They do. And it's a, yeah. it's a hardship we, we on the family. We had a family last year that, and we bring in families to speak, which is really important because that tells what we really do. And that tells our goal. I mean, we're not there to throw a party. We're there right. to raise money for children. And we had one family last year that talked. Uh, they had three children. And three of them were in Children's Hospital. It was wow. just amazing. And, and we had someone in the crowd that touched them so much, they came up to the stage and wrote a check for $5,000 right on the spot. Oh, I love that. So that's the kind of stuff that, you know, that's, that really makes it all worth it. So. Well, now that we're talking about money, you know, what, what have you raised over time? And, and right now we're at 788500 Wow. in uh, seven years. And this year we're calling, our, calling it our million-dollar year. Because okay. we, we, we really want to hit a wow. million dollars. So we're going to have to really work hard at it, but we hope to hit a million dollars. And so how can we help as your viewing audience here? How, well, how we can, can we can help, you can help by coming down and, and supporting us that mm -hmm. way. Because you got, you got to remember everything that, that is done down there, it all goes to Children's Hospital. So if you come down and eat, it all goes to Children's Hospital. Bring your kids down, play games. Uh, if there's wow. any corporate sponsors out there, we'd love to, we'd love to talk to you and uh, get you involved. And then a, can people donate as individuals? Yes, anybody can donate. Uh, we have it on the website that you can donate, or you can, you can get a hold of me or, or Donna. And, yeah, we'd love, to, we'd love to take a check from anybody. That's wonderful. Love to hear that. Well, 
you know, congratulations to you for being the leader of this and, and for putting the kind of time and, and resources into it that you do. And I'm sure that there are several of your employees who are involved in this. Yeah. yeah. And like you say, we just we have such a great board of directors and, and group that works with us who just put endless hours in. It's it's really nice. Wow. And and so your board of directors just for this event. Right. Okay. Right. Right. Excellent. Yeah. That's a good way to do it. And and again, I just want to reiterate a couple of the details for our viewers. Starts at five o'clock right. on Friday. July twenty ninth, yeah. And runs through five o'clock on Sunday. Correct. What is it when does it close in the evening? Um, eleven o'clock. Okay. And you know, again we have we have a really great silent auction that's there. That's gonna be neat. Oh. Uh, tons of things. I mean we've got some sports memorabilia that's unbelievable. Muhammad Ali signed boxing glove. Uh, just all kinds of wow. cool, really cool stuff, and, and uh, we have a director there, Susie, that does a great job there also. Jerry Kramer is going to be there from the Green Bay Packers. Very nice. From uh, 1 to 3 on Saturday. That's kind of a, a plus. Okay. So it's, and when is the silent auction? The silent auction goes the whole time. Okay, the so the time. winners are announced the right, evening on Friday at the end, Friday, 4 o'clock on, on Sunday. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. And, and a pa Green Bay Packer from 1 to 3 on Saturday. Yep. Jerry Kramer is coming. Jerry Kramer. And, uh, um, what other highlights that people? Um, kind of well, get we have uh, we have bungee jumping for the kids. We have uh, walk on water balls. It's like a big hamster ball that you go in and the kids can run on water. That's always a lot of fun. So we got a lot of good games going on for them. Um, and like I say, I think it's 50 cents to play a game, and wow. you're, you're guaranteed a prize. So it's 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 very children friendly. And, and all the prizes are donated too. Um, no, those we have to buy. Oh, okay. But, uh, but we but we do have a lot of things that are donated um, along the way. So, oh yeah. You know we have a lot of a lot of companies that'll like bring the chairs in and, and uh, the tents and things like that. So so we're very lucky that way. Well, congratulations. I'm sure you're going to hit that million dollar mark. I hope so. You'll probably <laughs> exceed it that from what great. I know of of the past. That would be great. And and I appreciate you coming here to Thank tell you. us about it today. And and please you know go to the website. It's it's. Um, LakeshoreWeekendSheboygan.com. Thank you. And uh, check it out. Sign up as a volunteer. Be sure to bring your family um, and have a lot of fun on that weekend, the last, last weekend in July. Right. Thanks, Chuck. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate you being here. You bet. Thank you. And have a lot of fun on that weekend, the last, last weekend in July. Right. Thanks, Chuck. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate you being here. You bet. Thank you. Welcome back. Our next segment, we are featuring one of the winners of our uh, Chamber Champions Gala Services Business of the Year Award for 2016. I welcome today Dr. Andrea Igowski, pediatric dentist and co-owner of the very successful Just Kids Dental practice. Welcome, Dr. Andy, and congratulations on Just Kids Dental being the winner and also all of the progress that you've made with your business over the course of time. It's a huge honor to get this award, by the way. I think the service businesses in the chamber number about 400 wow. out of our 970. So, wow. yeah, nice okay. honor for you and for your entire company. Thank you. Um, and thank you for joining us today. Yeah. I'd like to start just so the audience gets to know you a little better, if you can personally tell us, you know, how how you chose dentistry, maybe, sure. and where you came from, and how you made it to Manitou or to Sheboygan. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't in Manitowoc nope. at all. You were in nope. Sheboygan and Green Bay a little bit, I understand. Um, so, yeah, if you can just let us know sure. a little bit about you. All right. Well, thank you very much for having me. Um, I grew up in Green Bay, and I'm the youngest of four kids. And my older sister is also a pediatric dentist and my partner in the practice so she chose dentistry first with a little bit of nudging trying to get me to choose that route as well in hopes that we could practice together I went to the University of Minnesota for my undergrad degree my Bachelor of Science and then to Marquette University for dental school so it's mm. a four-year program where you get your degree in um, doctorate of dental surgery and from there chose pediatrics to specialize in and went to the Children's Hospital of 
Denver, Colorado for two years for the additional training in pediatrics. And at that point, um, my sister was already practicing here in Sheboygan, and I came back here in 2010 and joined Just Kids Dental and work alongside my big sister. Wow, that's, yeah. that says a lot for your relationship. It does. Sisters working together. Yeah. I'm trying to picture myself now uh -huh. working with my sisters. Not sure that would work, but... We have two older brothers, and we both said that we probably couldn't work with them. Yeah. But we can work together, so... Well, that's great and lucky for us. Yes. Lucky for us. Thanks. So, Just Kids Dental has obviously become a very successful pediatric dentistry provider. How did it happen? How did it come to fruition? You said, now, her sister is yeah. Jamie Markey, mm -hmm. Dr. Jamie Markey. How did the two of you form Just Kids Dental, or it was already existing under her name? How did that work? Sure. Um, she moved to Sheboygan in 2000 after finishing her pediatric residency. And the reason she moved to Sheboygan is that her husband was a general dentist here, Dr. Matt Bistan, at Fighter to Boris and Bistan. So he was already established here, so she kind of came along for the ride. And she originally commuted to West Bend for two years and worked with a pediatric dentist that, she mentor, that was her mentor throughout dental school and commuted there for two years. And I think the commute got to be a little bit of a hassle. And also, she realized that the need in Sheboygan County was very high. There was no other pediatric dentist in Sheboygan or any surrounding county. So she was convinced with a little bit of prodding from, I think, the other general dentists in the community that the need was great. So she chose to open up um, her own practice. In 2002, Just Kids Dental was created. Um, at that point, I had just gotten accepted to dental school. So she, I think in the back of her mind, wow. she was hoping that I would also choose pediatrics and then join her in the future. So ah, 2002. So you, didn't, you didn't do that from the beginning. I did not. Okay. I um, originally thought I wanted to go to med school. I took the MCATs and planned on med school. And then on one of my spring breaks, I came home and worked with her for a week and kind of job shadowed mm -hmm. and realized I'd I could actually see myself doing it. I knew I wanted to work in pediatrics of some kind. So once I realized I could actually do the dentistry part of it, yeah. then I went into dental school with pediatrics as my ultimate goal. Very nice. Yeah. So it wasn't all her influence. Some of yeah. it came internally from what you love to do. Absolutely. Yeah, that's Absolutely. great. That's great. Tell us a bit more about Jamie, Marky, yeah. who couldn't be here today. Yeah. but. Let's hear her story a little bit, sure. too. Sure. She has a very similar story in terms of training. Um, we are seven years apart in age, so she got to kind of do everything first. Um, and she went to undergrad at Marquette and did the dental scholar program. She knew she wanted to go into dentistry from the start. So the dental scholar program is a three-year undergrad bachelor degree. You basically get to fast forward that fourth year and go straight into dental school. So she... Um, did dental school at Marquette as well, same four years. And then her story was a little different. She didn't know she wanted to go into pediatrics. And her, some of the faculty said, I think you'd be really good at it, and kind of pushed her. So she did um, ex get accepted to the pediatric residency, and she trained in Denver, Colorado as well. So we were 10 years apart in training, and we went wow. to the same program. And the total number of years, 10? Did I it's hear 10? 10 years, yes. Wow, that's a significant investment. So. Yes, it is. Wow. Good for you. Thanks. So I kind of went to your website and I saw some testimonials. And it's just amazing to me that parents and kids are talking about how exciting it is to go to the mm -hmm. dentist. Because I remember when I was little, it was not exciting. Yes. In fact, I think I kind of dreaded it. Yes. Um, I, I told you the story earlier that I, I asked for no Novocaine because I was afraid it would cost more. <laughs> but I went to, when you had your ribbon cutting, it was yeah. four, about four years ago now, mm -hmm. and I was almost excited, giddy, to be there. You know, they have the little, I call them lounges that the kids lie on. Yeah. They have the miniature toilet in the bathroom. <laughs> they have the big school bus in the front. What's it like? What, is, what does a child go through when they come to your practice? This yeah, it, gone are the days of scary dentistry, at least I hope, for kids. Um, the environment that we've created is meant to be very child-friendly, welcoming, 
and very easy for them to, in, to be comfortable coming to the dentist. When they walk in, they um, immediately get greeted by name from our friendly staff. And in the waiting area, there's a school bus movie theater, um, iPad stations, and a coloring station. So the kids wow. have fun stuff to do right away while they're waiting. And then in the treatment areas where they have their checkups, we have bright colors, hand-painted murals from a local artist, and there's also a walking piano on the floor and a basketball court. A walking piano? <laughs> yes. So the same piano from the movie Big was created for us by the same designer. And so it's in the middle of the floor, and the kids run up and down it and play music. It lights up. Oh, that's has our fabulous. logo. Yeah. That's fabulous. Yeah. So it's I'm going to have to come in fun. again. I can see. Yeah. Could you do my checkup? <laughs> we get that question a lot. <laughs> I'm sure you do. We get that question a lot. I'm sure you do. <laughs> so, you know, what, since you moved to Sheboygan County, what have been the most significant things you love to do here? Um, I, the biggest thing about Sheboygan I love is the lake, obviously. I think most people would agree. When we found out we were moving to Sheboygan, my husband and I both said it was a dream of ours to live on or near the lake. I just think the sound, the view, every day it's different. It's breathtaking. The sports on the water, from fishing and stand-up paddleboard, we love to do that kind of stuff. Nice. Um, food, the food in Sheboygan is fantastic. I think it is. for how small of a city we are, there's no place better. I'm Italian, he's Japanese, so we both love cultural food and I think we have amazing choices here. Um, and then I would say the culture for kids is huge. I obviously being a pediatric specialist, I have a special place mm -hmm. in my heart for children, but I have two kids of my own. They're five and three and there's so much to do. Every single day we do something different. Bookworm Gardens, Above and Beyond Children's Museum, the Art Center, Wonderful. the Levitt Amphitheater. There's just so much culture that I think is such a, makes Sheboygan such a special place. It is a special place. It is. And yeah, thanks for the mm -hmm. children view because yes. from our pediatric dentist, that's a great, great way to look at it. Yeah. So, you know, I, I have my own stories about dentists. Um, we have a pediatric dentistry practice in town. How do we get in touch with you if we have children and we'd, we'd like to go to your dentist? Sure. A um, couple ways to find us. Um, we have a website, www.justkidsdentalwi for Wisconsin, dot okay. com. Okay. Uh, we have a Facebook page, Just Kids Dental. Um, those are probably our biggest outreach or ways to find us great socially great um, and you'll see us out in the community a lot I think we try to attend most fundraisers and festivals and volunteer and just show our faces so it's pretty easy to see one of us or meet us in the yes community. you're on a lot of boards I know that <laughs> so well congratulations again and thank you so much for joining thank us thank you today. very much